crazy. Oh my god, party cuck. <laughs> party cuckold. Age 31. Goes to the school of cucking. Goes to the school. <laughs> Works at cuckold industries. <laughs> Hello, I know you may not think this is real. I wish it wasn't real. Um, but it is. My lifestyle is to be inferior to women, and you can kind of see some examples in my photos. <laughs> I'm I am in my 30s, a guy with a different lifestyle. If you and your friends want to go to the bar and run my card up and have fun hum humiliating me and making me jealous, let me know. It's a lot of fun. Like, guys, when, when I mean, you see, cucking is not even simping. Cucking is like being a simp times the max. Like, you cannot call somebody a cuck a simp. Like, that guy, he, he's not even a man anymore. He threw out his masculinity a long time ago. He no longer has his masculinity badge. He might as well just be a female, bro. Like, if if you're this down bad and you want to submit to a woman, like, bro, you have a mental disease, bro. You need to go seek professional help. Like, this this is bad, bro. We, we got a bunch of Jack, uh, uh, what's his name? Jack Murphy. We got a bunch of cuck Murphys out here, man. And they need to be canceled, bro. You simps, you cucks, you must be canceled, bro. All right, so we got Celeste, uh, age 22. She's bi, so we already know she's a succubus, succubus spirit at best. Fellas, if you are trying to get in a relationship, you know what I'm saying? Do you by all means, but avoid a woman that is bi. Let me tell you why. The bi woman, they go both ways. They play, they are double agents, all right? You know what I'm saying? And they're very promiscuous, you know what I'm saying? So she could be cheating on you, cheating on you with a man. She could be cheating on you with a woman. You never know. Alright? I dated one. You don't want to date a girl that's bi, bro. Me and my man's looking for someone daughter to eat together. Wow. Wow. Only accept chill vibes. We can drink and smoke and be crackheads together. Oh man. That's uh you know, this is the quickest way to catch a STD, man. It really is. So, it looks like we got a co cosplayer. Shout out to my boy Rhombus in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Rhombus, this might be the type of girl that you like. You know what I'm saying? Type of woman. But beware. She is a succubus. Um, no hookups or snap. Cosplayer. Um, singer, artist, Arthur. Tarot card reader. Red flag. Okay. So, the first red flag is no hookups or snap. Right? Let's just forget she's a cosplayer. Now, I will say things about one thing about cosplayers. Most women that cosplay are Thakibis, Succubus spirits. Let's just keep it a book, right? I remember I was talking to this girl that she was a cosplayer and she had a boyfriend at the time. And now she has the OnlyFans. She's a Thakibis, Succubus spirit at best. Uh, so a second red flag, she's an artist. Any woman that has enough time to write an article or write a book, uh, she is definitely alone and she most probably she probably hates men you know what i'm saying because real women don't have time to write an article um and to write a book okay because they have husbands fiancés boyfriends they have other priorities right because most of the time they're talking shit about men anyway in these books she's a freelance model which can mean a bunch of things um she can be doing only fan mo only fan modeling instagram modeling and showing off you know her half naked body right and she goes to university. Listen, man, if she's going to college, if you're trying to date a girl that's going to college, bro, or you even trying to talk to a girl, don't do it. Bro, she's going to have so many sausages in her face, it's going to be ridiculous. All right, there's going to be so many zinc shots that are going to be offered to her. She's going to be taking so many DNA samples to the face, all over her body. You know what I'm saying? It's not worth it. She's she's literally, if she's not, if she's not a hoe now, when she goes to college, she will turn into a hoe, all right? I'm looking for friends or possibly more. Now, remember, she said no hookups, right? But then, right here, she says, I'm looking for friends or possibly more. You see, fellas, all we have to do is pay attention, all right? You got to read what they're actually talking about. You have to listen to what they're talking about, all right? Because they were eventually exposed themselves, all right?
Also, I identify as polyamorous and bisexual. Oh boy. A lot of red flags on this one, guys. I finished college and let me tell you, brothers, it's 304 Paradise. That's all I'm saying, man. It's literally a 304 Paradise. We have Lauren, age 23. Hmm. And her looks like a cuck boyfriend or whatever. I'm a cuck queen. Wow. Who loves to see her husband effed. I want him to be taken with, with or without me there. So many red flags, man. This this is actually disturbing, bro. It turns me on knowing he is getting off. Wow. We are also looking for a third person for other fun times if anyone is down. Um, listen, man. <laughs> Even the ugly woman, bro. Like, even the ugly girls aren't satisfied. Like, that goes to tell you, like, what day and age we're living in and what modern women are. are. Like, she is ugly. Like, she's a negative zero to this, to the beauty scale, right? And she still isn't satisfied. Like, bro. A lot of these marriages are open marriages. It's either you know you're in an open marriage or your wife is cheating on you with somebody else. Like, this is sad, bro. Ain't no way she's 23. That's what I'm saying. She capping. She like 30. For the most part, I would say 90% of the time, it's always the woman's idea to bring somebody else into the relationship. <clears throat> oh, my God. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What is this, bro? What is this, bro? What is this? What is this? For one, this picture right here is already ugly enough. Like, this picture right here is just like, my eyes are burning. I'm about to throw ho holy water with a mixture of bleach in my eyes, right? Just to get this image out of my head, right? But why? Like, what is the purpose? Matter of fact, I don't even know how the refrigerator is still standing. Like, chat, how is the refrigerator able to withstand such weight, such such dominance, such thunderous fact? Like, I feel bad for the refrigerator. Like, the refrigerator is probably screaming out for help right now. Number two, how did you even get on top of the refrigerator in the first place? We know you're not athletic. You know what I'm saying? You're 300 pounds at best. Third, what what are you wearing? Like, what is that? Looks like a homemade dress that you made out of scraps from stuff that you found at the Goodwill. Just existing, keeping it light. Music, travel, and my dog. Best with all three. Psychonaut. Like, it's just... Oh, my God. Oh, look, I got my COVID vaccination card. Brooke, age 24. Short guys swipe, swipe left. <clears throat> Fat girls swipe left. All right. A man under six feet is not a real man. A woman over 250 pounds is not a real woman. How about that? How about that? You no know, matter of fact, I'll give you leeway. A woman over 300 pounds isn't a real woman. Sorry, not sorry. You are built like a sinner. For the Dallas Cowboys, you are built like most starting linemen in the NFL. You are built like a sack of laundry that is 10 pounds. You are built like a sack of quarters. You are built like the Pillsbury dough once you get it out of the can. You are built like Papa John's pizza dough. Smokers, swipe left. Or 20 friendly, I'll pass. Make under 100K, not interested. How much money do you make? I guarantee you, you don't make 100K, but you can have all these standards looking like this. You can't even see your kneecaps, my nigga. Where are your kneecaps? You can have no kneecaps, my nigga. Let's keep it a buck. You over here wearing, you wearing, a, you're wearing Glade trash bags on. 
you cut up a Glade trash bag, a black duffel. You, you're wearing a trash bag at shorts. You have the nerve to have all these standards. Sorry, but I have to be direct and I know my worth. Looking for a man, not a boy. And I'm looking for a woman that's not over 300 pounds. Built like a refrigerator. Oh, God. She built like a deep freezer. She built like a walk-in freezer. A guy that makes 100K can find a can find a SB, <laughs> SB for 500 a week that looks phenomenal. Facts. Unrealistic demands. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, this this is insane, chat. Like, they really, it's like, modern woman really got the nerve, bro. Like, they really think they all that. And it'd and it be the ugly ones, too. And the fat ones. Like, and the reason why, and chat, the reason why these women have, so, like, their egos are so big and they think that they're all that in a bag of chips is because these simps have boosted their ego. They boosted their confidence. These women have fake confidence. These women think just because they get 30 matches on Tinder or any of these dating sites that that equates to real life. It does not. The only reason you're getting those matches is because men are thirsty. A lot of men are thirsty. A lot of men are not getting they're not getting sex, bro. They're, they're not having intercourse. There's a lot of there's there. There's never been more virgins as men in this world ever. We have we have more virgins than ever. These men are they, they trying to get some buns. You are not attractive. This is not what men go after. We do not want our woman to be bigger than us. If, listen, listen, if you're a lady or a woman watching the stream right now, if your man cannot pick you up, that is a red flag. If your man hair is longer than yours, that is a red flag. As men, we should be able to pick up our woman on our back, throw her on the bed. You know what I'm saying? Throw her like a football. If we cannot pick you up and carry you on the back and carry you up the stairs, you're too big. Simple as that, bro. Simple as that. Bro, the chat is going crazy, bro. I can barely keep up. Too many Simpson cucks cause them to get lazy, rely on their existence to get male attention. Exactly, Huey. See, this is the thing. They would they wouldn't want to look like this if they didn't get if they didn't get the attention and validation from the Sims. If Sims did not validate women that look like this, fat woman, right? They would not have this much confidence. They would actually want to lose weight. But since but since they get all this attention and validation, they think that, oh, okay, well, men will just love me for who I am. So I'm not going to change. I'm not going to lose weight. I'm not going to be healthy. healthy. I'm just going to remain obese and eat like a man and eat like a pig. So therefore, these women feel empowered to be fat. That's why That's why the whole BBW thing blew up is because it's not, it's not the fact that men actually like BBWs, you know what I'm saying, or like big women. It's the fact that men lost their they they lost standards they they lost you know their self-worth you know what i'm saying and they lowered their standards just to get coochie that's why that's a thing that's why the bbw fetish is a thing is because men literally have no standards they think coochie is coochie and coochie is not coochie guys i want y'all to realize that you have to have standards for yourself so we have tt age 18 first off i am fluffy and thick <laughs> guys she's she's thick and she's loving it all right i'm loving it i am 250 now listen guys this is the thing when a woman, when a woman is 250 and she's 5 8 or even below six foot she is fat that's not thick honey you are fat all right if you can't pick my fat ass up see not okay at least she's acknowledging that she's fat she's not delusional then you ain't the one I guess we're not the one, chat. Who in the chat wants to pick up this thick and fluffy woman that's 250 pounds? I'll tell you what. I'm not doing that. You're not getting on top of my back. You're going to break every bone in my back. And I'm going to have to go get surgery. That's going to cost thousands of dollars. That's a hospital bill waiting to happen. I am 5'8", German, Russian, so I am tall. I love to have a good time. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you do. You like to have a good time with food. 
I have a great personality. Um, as men, we don't care about a woman's personality. Are you feminine? Are you fit? And are you non-argumentative? Non -argumentative, and can you bring me peace in my life? Very kinky. Nobody cares. I like a dude who is six foot or taller. But you're not six foot or taller. I I just don't I don't get it. Women they they really think modern women really think that height has something to do with masculinity. And it doesn't. Being short doesn't make you less of a man, and being tall doesn't make you more of a man or less of a man. Bisexual, I'm a lot to handle. Oh yeah, we, we can tell. 20, 50 pounds on our back while we're trying to take you up the stairs. That's a no for me, man. If I wanted to put 250 pounds on my back, I would go to the gym and squat. Okay? Bisexual, I'm a lot to handle. have a lot of problems. I'm mentally screwed. If you can't handle it, then don't swipe right. Just want to make some friends. Now, guys, I want you guys to pay attention to something. Look how dirty her mirror is. I'm going to zoom in on this. I'm going to zoom on this. Look. And this mirror looks like it hasn't been cleaned in two months. It looks like there's a bunch of toothpaste on there, a bunch of old water, some mildew, some mold. She has trash on the floor. This looks like a trash can that tilted over. And guess what, guys? The sad thing about this is she's going to have more matches than the average man. She's going to have 100 guys in her DMs. Saying, oh, I'm trying to smash. Damn, mama. Damn, mama, you so thick. Mama, I'm trying to smash. Let me come over, mama. Oh, I'm trying to cream pie. Hey. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to hit you in the rain. I'm trying to hit you on a bike. I'm trying to eat it from the bike. Dirty house and dirty mind. Listen, fellas, if, if, her, if her bedroom, sorry, if her bathroom is this dirty, what do you think her coochie smells like? Like, what, like let's be honest, chat. If she can't keep her bathroom clean, there is a 99.9% .9 chance that her hygiene sucks. Like, this is a walking, talking STD, bro. Hopefully, she cleans her ass better than her bathroom. D, man, there's not a chance that she can wipe all of that. And this is the thing. That, and this is why I say that you should you don't want to be with a woman that is big right it's because it's hard to have all of this fat right and be able to clean your butt properly like she would have to like after taking a crap like taking a poop she would have to literally take a shower like she would have to take a bath i'm not talking about shower i'm talking about a bath like soaking Soaking in a bubbly bath. So you know her booty stink, bro. You know she got some doo-doo wipes on her underwear, bro. Her for JJ smells like doo-doo and ketchup. <laughs> Not even no. No, I I got something worse. I got something worse, uh, Pop Smoke. Her the JJ smells like doo-doo and expired Vienna sausages with a mixture of old hot dog water. You know, when you boil a hot dog, you know what I'm saying? And then you let the water sit on the stove for a little bit and it really stinks. That's what it smells like. So we have Danielle here. She's 19. Being a stoner is my only personality trait. I also went viral on TikTok because my friend bought me a cake when I reached 10 bodies. Chat. I think I've seen this TikTok. I'm pretty sure I see. I, I'm pretty sure I've seen this TikTok on Mr. Moments channel shout out to my boy moments you know what i'm saying i go subscribe to him um this is sad bro like modern women are literally celebrating being promiscuous there's never been a generation of women that celebrated being promiscuous until now gen z is by far the worst generation ever like this is what we have to deal with this is what they want us to marry these are our options fellas 
She's t she got 10 bodies and she's only 19, bro. Just think when just think about how many bodies she's going to have when she's ready to settle down. And most modern women don't settle down until their 30s or late 40s. Bro, that coochie going to have more miles than a 1950 Ford. Bro, the carburetor broke down, the seats all messed up, the leather peeling off. The engine messed up. It's clogged up. When you start, when you turn it on, it's like. <laughs> you got to do all types of things to, 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 to preheat the coochie. Like, bro. This is, this is what we have to deal with. And they wonder why men are opting out every day of the dating scene, bro. You wonder why men are done. You wonder why men are just want a casual, keeping it casual and occasional with y'all. We not cuffing y'all no more. We not marrying y'all no more. The red pill mental that that's it's been blowing up for the past year and a half. There's a reason for that, ladies. Being promiscuous is is, is the only thing that being promiscuous is going to lead you to is being alone. And being with a relationship with a better male simp provider that you do not have any intentions of staying in that relationship or marriage in that you don't even love that you don't even like to be around. Is that what y'all want? And after you divorce and take half of this stuff, then you're going to die alone with cats like that. Like, come on, bro. Come on. Double digits. Bro, I'm telling you, by the time she hits 40, she's going to have like a at least 200 plus bodies.